Hey guys, welcome back. So, seems to be quite popular at the moment to be doing small collection review slash swatches um, of different parts of your makeup collection. Um, and yeah, I thought I might join in and do a couple of my own. I might not get through the whole lot, um, but I've got a couple that I think are fun to share or that I enjoy watching anyways. So, as the title suggests, I am doing highlighters today. Highlighters and blushes are kinda my weakness in hot pink lipstick. <laughs> Those are my makeup weaknesses. I mean, yeah, my makeup collection in general is too big. And I like all makeup, but you know, we all have like those specifics that we prefer or just go crazy over. And for me, that is blush, highlight, and pink lipstick. So I'm going to do my highlighters today. I have got them all laid out on my desk here in front of me. Um, and I'm going to show you them all. So let me know if you like how I formatted this video. And if not, I will try a different way for the next one. Um, or I will continue to do it like this. I hope you enjoy. Also, if you want to see a video for this look I'm wearing today, it's very fun and bright and sugar pill-y. I will put the link down below. But it, when this is first coming out, that video is not up. You have to wait a couple more days. So I'm going to start with my liquid highlighters. I don't use liquid highlighter that much. It's not my favourite. Um, but I do have a few and I sort of use them in specific ways, I guess. First one here, I just realised I forgot I had. So I have not used this very much at all. And I need to get back to using it. So this is the e.l.f. Radiant... Radiance Enhancer in Spotlight and it is kind of pink you can see there so it's on like a little clicky brush like a um, lip gloss or something but I mean it's quite pretty look at that so I'm definitely gonna use that more often next is also e.l.f. this is one of their all over colour sticks and this is in the colour Spotlight as well but it's a totally different colour it's more of a um, golden slightly peach actually but like yeah kind of white and it's a stick form of course I haven't used this one in ages it might not even be any good anymore I'll have to play around and see how it is but yeah it is really nice and they only cost like nothing this next one is Benefit Girl Meets Pearl this one is so shimmery I will sometimes pat this on like where I like my highlighter and then go over with my foundation so I'll put this on before foundation because it's just extreme um, and I don't like mixing this one in with my foundation because it's just too shimmery so it's like a twist up thing and it comes out the top Let's swatch it for you yeah it's kind of a light peach with gold reflex it's nice very liquidy this next one is from NARS. It is their liquid illuminator in Copacabana. Amazing. So it's kind of the pink tone one. And it just like squeezes out like that. I use this all the time. I mix this in with my foundation. That's my favourite way of doing it. And you can see how glowy that is. It's not glittery, which is what I like about it. It's just like glowy. I don't know. That seems hard to describe. But yes, I adore that one. And the same with this next one. It's not the same colour. It's more peachy golden. Um, and this is the Armani, Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer in number 7. I wish they had names, but that's okay. And so this one is in a pump. And this is the... I use this one the same, in the same way. I mix it in with my foundation. Yeah. Well, it does look kind of pink on the camera it's this one here but I find it's more peachy in person but yeah gorgeous and very very liquidy that one and very expensive that was like a splurge for me oh my god next I'll show you my cream highlighters I only have two of these because I'm not much of a cream highlighter person these are both, in case you haven't guessed already, from Colourpop. I've only got two Colourpop highlighters and I may get more, I'm not sure. I do want more Colourpop stuff but I'm not sure if I want more of these. So this first one is called Tea's Cake and it's gorgeous, look at that. It's like a 
peach with pinky tones and like a golden purple lilac duochrome. It's so crazy. And they're the strangest feeling, like I can't get over them. Yeah, so it's basically like my skin colour, but better. <laughs> Look at that, it's amazing. And these are amazing because they pretty much stay on like all day. My next Colourpop highlighter is called Monster and it looks really boring in the pan. It looks white, um, but it has a really awesome like pink, purple, lilac, blue, duochrome, trio chrome. I don't know. <laughs> it's incredible. It's actually very similar to the one I'm wearing today, which is not Colourpop. And I'll show you that one now, so you can see. So this next one is from MAC. Technically this is an eyeshadow, um, but I almost never use it as an eyeshadow because I'm so in love with it as a highlighter for my cheeks. This is an extra dimension eyeshadow in Opalese, or Opalesi. I think it might have been limited edition, but I'm not sure. Look how awesome that is. So again, it looks white, but it's got that blue, purple, pink iridescence to it. So let me swatch that for you. And I'll swatch it next to that one. So yeah, I think it's a little bit brighter, maybe more pink, I don't know. Ugh, oh, it's gorgeous. I adore it. So my next MAC highlighter I have is the classic and incredibly popular Soft and Gentle. Now, I'm not a big fan of this. I used to be, and I'm trying to use it, and you can sort of see it has like got a big dent in it. So I'm getting through it. It's too bronze, and it goes on so bronze on me. Um... And I just find it really hard to wear. And when I use it dry, I feel like it's too glittery. So I use it wet. I spray my brush with Fix Plus and then do it. And then it's really nice. But yeah, and even when I see it in other people's pictures or videos on YouTube and Instagram, theirs doesn't look as bronze as mine. What do you guys think? I don't know. So yeah, it's going to take me forever to get through it. Um... I actually sent something to Pacey recently and then I was like damn it I should have sent her this to use up for me because I can't I just ah but yeah because like I don't want to throw it away or just back to Mac it already because I'm like well it's a waste of product and I paid for it yeah so I'm gonna gonna use it up and then back to Mac it so let me swatch it bronze bronze and it just doesn't work on me so I I don't even know. My next MAC one, it was a limited edition and you cannot buy this anymore as far as I'm aware. So, sorry. But <laughs> I'm just showing you anyways. And this is from the Marilyn collection. And this one is called Forever Marilyn. This one's technically a beauty powder. But it's the most gorgeous highlight. It looks so boring. I am I know. It's not quite matte. It's kind of satin. This, I don't know. I guess all beauty powders have the same finish because this doesn't say what it is like that. Um, but it looks gorgeous. If I want like something really subtle, I'll do. It. I'll use this, or I can pop it everywhere for just a glow. It's weird. I love it so much. You're probably gonna not be able to see it on my skin. Oh, well, kind of. Yeah, it's amazing. I don't know. It's incredible. And my last Mac highlighter I have is called Perfect Topping and this is a mineralized skin finish as well like the Soft and Gentle so it looks like that and it's one of those awesome marbled ones it's really weird because it looks kind of bronzy and then even when I swatch it oh it looks more gold there that's good but I love this this is an amazing one I yeah I really want it I mean I really love it <laughs> but I really want Light Scapade which is sort of similar but lighter and I think it has like more blue in it which is awesome. Next is a totally random one from Revlon and it looks like the Shimmer Bricks from Bobbi Brown. This is called Rose Glow. I don't use this very often. I kind of forget that I have it but I should use it. So I'll swatch them like all together. Wow you can hardly see that but it's just a nice pink glow. It's pretty nice. Yeah I should use it. Next I've got two um, blush highlighter duos from BH Cosmetics. So they have a blush and a highlighter that I meant to like go together. Um, I love this highlighter. It's a light lilac-y pink. And this is in the lilac duo. I sometimes forget about these ones because I keep them in my blush drawer, not in my highlighter drawer. 
Uh, but when I use the blush, then I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. So the other one is the Daisy Duo. This is obviously the blush, and the highlighter is a really awesome gold. And I love it. Oh, look. Very nice. Highlighter's really hard to show on camera. Next is another kind of wall of shimmer type one from Chi Chi in this awesome mirrored uh, packaging. And this one is called Natural Wall of Shimmer Face Powder. Huh, does it have a name? I think it must be the natural part, Natural Wall of Shimmer. So it's quite bronze. Um, I got this in a set that like Shane XO kind of promoted or something. Um, and the whole lot together is kind of too dark for a highlighter for me. Oh, that looks alright. But I love this one by itself. Yes, look out there. It's like, oh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's amazing though. Like a really nice champagne colour. I love it. So next we've got some more drugstore ones. Um, I have two from, two? Two powder ones from e.l.f. Cosmetics. This is one of them, the packaging, it's all coming off there, and the lid broke! I'm so sad. So I just keep it sitting on there and I sit it on my desk. Um, but this is the highlighter in Moonlight Pearl, and it looks quite bronzy, but it's amazing on. Super champagne-y type colour, so shimmery, so finely milled. Um, this is what I want from Soft and Gentle by MAC. Yeah. So, if you can't afford Soft and Gentle by MAC, get this one, Moonlight Pearl. It's their baked highlighters. Amazing. The next one is also from e.l.f. It's technically an eyeshadow. It's a baked eyeshadow. And it is in the colour Enchanted. And it's just like a true gold. Oh, it's got a little bit of like rose in there, I think. Awesome, awesome highlighter. It's crazy how good this looks on my skin. Like, I'm obsessed and it's like a dollar or something my next highlighter not my favorite at all but this is the Too Faced candlelight powder it's kind of translucent um and it looks really boring but it does have like flecks it's like a white a yellow a white yellow gold so you can barely see it there um it's not very strong and because it's kind of a translucent one i'll usually use it all over for that really glowy look um and it it's nice, but it's just, I like my highlighters to be seen from space, and this one is not. Um, but yeah, it, it's nice if you want something just really subtle. Next, I have got two from Sephora, like their own brand, and these are baked ones as well. This one is called Stardust. Oh my god, I can't open it. And this is like a very yellow white, and... I haven't compared them, but maybe we should. But it looks very similar to NARS Albatross. Yeah, look at that. This is amazing. I love this one. This is NARS Albatross. Put that down. Yeah. Whoa. Like, almost identical, to be honest. So if you can't afford NARS Albatross, or for whatever reason you just don't, want it try the Sephora one baked illuminator in Stardust so the other baked illuminator from Sephora that I have is called a light beam and this one is so cute I've used this one a lot like you can't tell because it's still like a dome but um yeah it's much flatter than the other one <laughs> so that's that one it's kind of like peachy very very pretty as you saw NARS Albatross I've hit May Japan um, I'm probably not going to repurchase it just because I've got others that are so similar and then this is one half of Hungry Heart which is a duo from NARS as well I think I gave away the other half um, I used to get a lot of NARS stuff from when I worked at a shop that sold them but this is that one half of Hungry Heart. Hungry Heart is very glittery. If you don't like glitter in your highlighters, you won't like this. It is like glitter central. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. It's got a highlighter in there. This is gorgeous. This is a very nice champagne colour. I love this one and it's really smooth. Um, I just kind of forget to use it because it's in the palette. So unless I'm using the contouring colours from the palette, then I'll use it. 
but otherwise I sort of forget when I feel bad because I adore that colour. Next is one that is also technically an eyeshadow and I keep it in a palette so I'm sorry because it looks like a mess but it is this one here. Now this one actually used to have a little turtle imprinted on it um, and it was limited edition so I shouldn't even be showing you but I'm showing you anyways. It's actually an eyeshadow from the Turtle Sea Turtle Quad from Shantakai. Um, yeah, so, uh, hang on. So that's the blush from the palette and that's a light eyeshadow. There's also a darker eyeshadow and like a dark brown and then there was a dark green. Um, but I love this one as a highlighter and that blush is like what you want orgasm to be but like eight times better because orgasm's kind of average you know so anyways let's swatch this dude yeah so nice it's like kind of it's on the more peachy side peachy champagne but still like the whiteness a light champagne yeah so we're getting down to the last bits and some of my favorites so Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. This is what it looks like. You have this sort of medium-ish shade. I like to use this all over the face. It's not so shiny that you would look shiny kind of thing. Um, and it just blurs the skin and gives such an amazing effect. This one, Incandescent Light, this is amazing. I love this as a highlighter. It's gorgeous. And this is like Pacey's favourite highlighter. And then this one, which while it is on the shimmer side, not glittery but glowy, even though it's bronze, it makes the most amazing bronzer, like I'll use it as a bronzer but I won't look weird and crazy. Um, and that colour is too bronze for my like cheekbones but that is fine. So I still get use out of all of them, I will swatch all three of them. Do I have any? No. Wow! So you can see that top one, that's the one that like I put all over and it just kind of blurs everything which is why you can barely see it. That is incandescent light, the amazing bright kind of almost pinky one and then that's the bronze, you can see it's far too bronze for my like upper cheekbones but it's still gorgeous and I still use it. This is the Too Faced Everything Nice palette from Christmas and this highlighter here is called Inner Light. It's kind of glittery and like quite peachy like it's almost too dark for my cheeks I still use it I wonder if you can see it here better <laughs> you can barely see it I don't know it's almost like slightly peachier than orgasm blush and lighter like a lot lighter version highlighter version I don't know that's a bad description I'm sorry last but absolutely not least these are some of my favorites so this first one is you guys probably know I have these and you're like where are they so this is from Becca this is the shimmering skin perfecta pressed in moonstone and this is the perfect white yellow gold insane shimmer highlight I love the formula of these because they're not glittery or chunky they're just the smoothest shiniest most I can't stop looking at the viewfinder it's amazing these are just the absolute best and the other two color or three colors aren't really right for my skin but that new Jaclyn Hill one champagne pop Lord, it will be mine I need it so that's that one amazeballs and this is my last one can we just take a moment this is my baby this is the Balm's Mary Luminizer. I can't. So this is my favourite highlighter of all time. All time. And if they ever say they're discontinuing it, I will buy 20 of them. Yep. And if this ever hits pan, I will buy five backups immediately. Like, I can't, I just, I just want to like rub it on my face like this but that would contaminate it yeah I love this baby so much it is the most incredible thing I'm not sure what puts it above the Becca ones for me but there's just something 
more about this. I don't know if it's this exact colour or if it's the formula because they do feel quite similar. They're both very soft. Oh my god, but look at that colour. It's more shiny. Maybe that's it. So much shinier and just incredible and I... I regret not buying this sooner. I was going to buy it and then someone was like, I think it's too dark for you and... I was like, yeah, probably you're right. And then Pacey bought it for me because I couldn't stop. I just couldn't stop thinking about it. It was just on my mind. Like when you like a new boy and you're just like, man, I just want to see him all the time. That's what I was like with this. I was just like, I just need, I regret not getting that mirror luminizer when I was in Australia. And I, you know. And then one day Pacey sent it to me without me knowing. I was expecting a parcel with lipsticks from her and this was in there and I... I've been happy ever since. We've been in love since that day. And she never leaves my side. Actually, I do not take her travelling with me or in my bag because she's so soft, she'll probably break. And they were just... They would break my heart. I just couldn't handle that, so she actually stays home. But... Oh, she's my boomer. My boomer. Yeah. Hey. How you doing? So, if you're looking for a good highlighter, even if you're as pale as me, y'all need this. Y'all need this. It was the best. It was literally the best. Like, I I went on so much about it. Like, I just was so insane about it and just, like, obsessive, you know? I just couldn't stop talking about it, wearing it, looking at it. I've kept the packaging. I was just so in love with it. Pacey had to go and buy it for herself because she was like, what? Like, what? Why isn't that good? So she had to experience it. And, yeah. My, my best friend. So, enough of that. I'm sure you're like, can you, can you stop now? So that is all of my highlighters. I hope you really enjoyed this. I absolutely adore highlighters. No one needs this many highlighters and I'm fully aware of that. But I collect them. It's like my hobby. I enjoy it. I wear them. I've been through complete highlighters before and had to repurchase, you know. Like, I'm not kidding. I wear a lot of highlighter. Um, yeah. Even on my minimal makeup days, highlighter will still be there. Like, I just can't. And it's not, be it's not that like, I'm like, mm, I'm ugly. Like, I just love it. I just love highlighter so much. I just, <sighs> yeah, it just makes me so happy. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite highlighter is of all time and why. Because if I don't have it, I might have to have it. Yeah. So if you would like to see any other areas of my makeup collection like this, please let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to get those filmed. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you had fun and subscribe if you have not already and I will see you in the next video. Bye!